Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? It is Plays here, back again with another video. So today we are talking about how to make a camera ch changing screen GUI. Now there's a few things I have to go with this. Um, one is there is, uh, you'll be having cameras that will be move, will be set at certain parts and the character will spawn in, of course. If you don't want it spawning in, you're gonna have to learn a separate thing on that. Just search up a video on it, it's pretty easy. Um, but it will spawn in in general. Uh, this is perfect for tycoons too, but um, so you'll have two cameras, four cameras, sorry, one, two, three, four, and uh, right now it's set up as one here, two, one set here, and one set here, and what will happen is it will start right here, and this camera will move all the way down to that camera, so go like this, all the way down to here, just pointing that way, and then um, it will rotate all the way around by switching the camera screen straight, straight back to the ones that are pointing this way. Um, you can position these however you want. I'm going to show you just in a bit here, but uh, I recommend using these. Uh, this is best for a lot of tycoons, actually. Um, and if you are needing anything else, just let me know. But uh, this is pretty cool, too. So, yeah. Uh, also, feel free to join the Discord if you haven't yet. It's, uh, it's in the description, and uh, we do giveaways there, too. Um, and feel to subscribe, please. It means a lot to me. And uh, join the group, the Roblox group, if you want to. Uh, we hit like 30 members, 40 members today. I don't even remember. Um, I do a lot of stuff in there too. And for live streams, you could dev and make some games and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. But um, yeah. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, first of all, if you want everyone to hide your UI and don't want to see it all the time, feel free to click that. It's right there. Um, I'm just giving you guys the basic stuff. Uh, you're going to ungroup it. It's going to say ungroup in workspace. It's going to be this camera scenes right here. And we're going to do those real quick first because those are the easiest to do. Um, so I'm going to click that and you're going to be able to see one, two, and one and two. So they're in a folder, of course. Um, let's look at this real quick. One and two are right here and you can position these however you want. You guys, you can rotate them, put them anywhere. And then there's two. Now what's going to happen is it's going to go, like I said, from one to two like that in that kind of way. Like you'll be having the camera go like that. Let me just actually just do that for you. Sorry. So it'll be like this and it'll go all the way to two like that. And then let me get two out right here. It's all the way over there. It's going to go like this. It's going to fly all the way over here, but it's going to happen really fast. And it's going to be right here. And then it's going to go like that. And it's going to rotate. And it's just going to keep rotating. It's going to go back over here and just keep rotating. It's like a whole loop of just rotations. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, position these however you want. Keep them transparent, of course. Anchor them. They're, they're anchored already. You don't need to worry about anything. But just keep them transparent because it's the best way of doing that. So, yeah, keep those in workspace. And um, now let's put on the GUI. Uh, first of all, if you don't know how GUIs work, they're just part of the interface, and um, you have to have a lot of stuff in them. Um, uh, if you click it, there's a few properties. It's enabled, of course, so you can turn that off. You don't want it showing. I mean, if you don't want it to work right now, um, display order. That's for like other GUIs. It's pretty weird. Um, and then uh, everything else, just leave it. Reset on spawn. I leave it off because. You don't want people spawning in if they die every time in a game and have to go through this. And that makes sense. Like, I don't I don't like that. Um, so keep that off because this is just a play button and updates. Shop and everything is going to be outside of this. So there's a local script. We're going to open this up. So we're basically driving a tween service and everyone's, like, camera and everything like that. Um, and what we're doing is we're going to set the camera type to scriptable, which is, like, going to be the custom to camera type. And what's going to be happening is uh, – let's go to the scenes right here. It's in this loop, and it's going to be going through frame through frame, well, through camera to camera, and you can wait, you can make that shorter if you want. Make sure these two match, they have to match, um, or else it's going to be all weird, but uh, this is how long it plays if I'm right through each camera. Um, and then the play button is script.parent, which is going to be right here, dot frame, which is this, inside here, text button, like that, mouse button, click one, so when they hit play, Camera types can be at custom, which is the character's camera. Script.apparent.enabled, which is going to be this. Starter GUI will be false. Looping will be false. Current tween will be pause. As in, everything will stop. So, that's all you need in the script. Really simple. Now, if you ever want to add some more stuff into it, you will do that. Um, there's also some other stuff in here, too. So, this is the main frame. It says one by one. And then, right here, we have the play uh, frame. I had a play frame back, back, backdrop just to make it look good. And we have the text button. Text button is this play button. Uh, you can change all the font and color in here. Uh, Lucky Sky, anything you want in here. Text stroke. Make it look good as much as you want. Now, 
I have this frame down here as in version one and creator, you can put your name or credits, you can do another scroll frame. Now I have a scroll frame, which you can also go through and scroll either way, but let me just, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So uh, there's gonna be the header with the updates and then, uh, yeah, so you can see how it works. It's kind of like that. It's super easy to work actually. Um, and you just go through it. And if you wanna just duplicate it again, like I said, just go like that and move it down and then uh, click out of it, go like that, grab that, duplicate it again and just put it down. So that's how these scroll frames work and they're really, this is perfect for things and I, I like these, these are my favorite. Um, and if you were trying to add sound, like how I did with my recent one in the camera main screen, watch a video tutorial on it, it's in the description. So if you are trying to do that, feel free to, it's in the description. And um, yeah, you guys. So honestly, that's all I got for you today. It, it's super simple, you just gotta implement this. And this is a image label, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, you can change that all you want. You literally can change this at all, all you want. Do whatever you want. Just leave the play button and you're good. So anything else in here you can get rid of. Like I can literally get rid of this, guys, and you're good. So then you just have that play button right in the middle. So when they join, it's just gonna be a play button and all the things. Add whatever you want. You can move the play button, do whatever you want. Just make sure you have that play button. That's all you need. Or you make your own custom one if you know how to script. But uh, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I got more tutorials coming out soon. Feel free to join the Discord, like I said. Um, and like watch all my YouTube videos. I mean, my other tutorials if you need help. I'm going to be making tons more. Episode 3 is actually super coming uh, super soon for Roblox, uh, the advanced Jack and series. So yeah, it's super close, like super close, you guys. I just finished a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.